Well boys and girls, I'm back after quite a bit of a break. Um, I'll explain why a little bit, not the details, but yeah, things haven't really gone very well just lately. <laughs> but onwards and upwards, uh, we're off out for a little adventure. I've bought um, some other couple of little toys I've got. Um, nothing to do with camping. And uh, we're going to have some sausage cobs in the woods. Catch you in a bit. Well boys and girls, I must say, it's absolutely fantastic to to get the time to have a quick plod out and uh, I'm enjoying it already I've only done 30 foot <laughs> ah, it is it's I need a bit of uh, a bit of action in the woods I think to uh, calm my nerves <laughs> well basically uh, my dad I've mentioned before he's got dementia well it, it's gone from bad to worse and uh, they couldn't cope with him, carers couldn't cope, anyway he, he kept having falls, at the minute he's in hospital I'm not sure if he's going to come out or not, I went yesterday and he's confused you can still have a conversation with him but a lot of stuff's gone off, a lot of nasty stuff and uh, we're just waiting now, he's got, he's, he's got, cut a long story short, he's got a, he's damaged his foot and being as he's got diabetic it can be quite nasty so we're waiting for that to get healed up and um, his infection to go down and then they're going to assess him for what um, stuff he actually needs to be done to keep him safe from himself as much as anything else so anyway it's been really hard anybody that's um, got a family member or, or knows somebody um, that's got dementia and the care side of things it's it's really difficult and and holding down a full-time job and all the rest of it visits to hospital and meetings with social workers and all sorts it's been it's been bad and to top it all <laughs> we've had a nightmare with Gus he's um, he's had about two weeks where he's been acting he's been poorly I thought well to be quite honest we thought we'd, we were going to lose him he, he was that bad he was eyes were rolling he just couldn't sit outside under a tree and just sit there being sick he got a temperature anyway we got him to the vets he had some uh, medic uh, uh, injection which seemed to calm him down and he's been acting strange like you've been shot and shot him and he'd looked the wrong direction and his eyes were all weird like it just it were awful if you've got people that's got pets <laughs> yeah you get the picture my dad's badly dogs badly <laughs> I wanted no mood to come out as you can imagine so that's where we are Gus now to be quite honest with you the last couple of days is back to his normal self you wouldn't even know he's been badly I'm absolutely amazed because he, he looked terrible and he's he's fighting fit now he's this is last couple of days he's actually been running about like he used to do and wagging his tail because he really was that poor he wouldn't even get off the settee he wasn't wagging his tail, it was just awful he didn't eat and Gus loves his food as we all know well you can imagine if Gus isn't eating there's something definitely wrong so yeah I've had a lot going off just lately <laughs> it's been stressful and I'm just fingers crossed it'll all get sorted anyway that's enough of that I've got to enjoy my walk now and put the behind me I've just met up with one of my neighbours and she's got a, a, big, a big old I'm not sure what it is Labrador something or other oh yeah they go, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that they're going bloody bonkers yeah, I've just been talking to my neighbour Sharon and uh, it's quite nice I had a good laugh actually just on about dogs and stuff as you do and uh, I enjoyed that and uh, she's had a air dog Bailey he's had um, he had a lot of trouble with his health as well he's, he's back fighting fit I think it was a leg or something so she could uh, sympathise with the dog situation we were having a good laugh because they were all playing nice and that so that was lovely really well set me up for the day that I've seen them all playing well oh. Actually, it's uh, time for bluebells, isn't it? Um, I just spotted some here. I'm hoping my face. Yeah, I've uh, timed it well, I think. 
I like the bluebells when they're out, it makes everything look bloody great and you know summer's coming. Funny thing, um, oh, I've got a bit of a dab on here. The, um, I've got some bluebells that um, sprouted up in my garden and they always come up a few, probably about a week or two earlier than the, the wild ones. I don't know if it's because it's near our so it's more warm or what. Anyway, just a thought, thought of the day. When do your bluebells sprout? Oh, I forgot to do this. I normally do me uh, time check and what. Anyway, I've got me uh, got the old Hamil Hamilton on today. Look at that, still as beautiful as ever. And it's actually keeping bang on. It's better. It's, some days it's only a couple of three seconds out, no more than about five or six. It's bloody brilliant. Tell you what, boys and girls, it's absolutely, I know I'll go on, but it's bloody glorious this morning. You've just seen it, it's just gone court to eight. It's bloody glorious. The dogs are happy sniffing and chewing at grass and the usual crap. It's just bloody lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. What more could you wish for? Especially now everything's greening up. We've got a few leaves sprouting and what have you. Everything looking lovely and fresh again. Bloody fantastic. Oi! It's so lovely to see him happy and smiling again, isn't it, Gus? Hey, you enjoying it, aren't you, little bugger? Where's the other one? Come on, Stan. Here he is, Stan the man. Good lad. <laughs> you know where you are, don't you, boys? Come on, then. Let's go and get a drink. Hairy coffee and a sausage cob. Sounds too good to be true. Where are we going? Which way? Which way? Where are we going? <laughs> well, we haven't been for a few months, but they know where they're bloody going. Well, here again, boys and girls. No stands bound to get absolutely bloody plastic. <laughs> hey, oh, bloody hell. There's a bit of a change. Bloody great trees come down, look in my normal place. <laughs> oh, God, that's a big one. Oh, look, that's gone. Look at that bugger. I thought it looked a bit open. Hmm. That's uh, changes a bit around here. Yeah, it's a big bugger. I don't know what the stand's doing up there. Gussie, what are you doing there? I'm stand sniffing and going mad. Gussie's just having a rest. Anyway, I'll get this bloody brew on if it kills me. to get some more mess or something I'm about that. Going up about one more fill or so. Trusty turbo flame never lets me down. First order of the day will be I feel a brew. <laughs> You got on your eye, look. Oh, Gussie, he's going all grey, aren't you, mate? He's really getting grey now, bless him. Have you enjoyed yourself? You bloody lovely, aren't you? Hey, back to your normal self now, aren't you, boys? Stan? <laughs> Wait, what do we say? Wait there and don't go mad. Some little biscuits. What do we say? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Well, there she blows, boys. I'm just going to get my brew on and then eat sausage or bust. If I died or gone to heaven, that smells absolutely delicious. That's the Java lava, last bit of it, and it's still quite strong, even though it's been in a bag for a week. Really hell, them tough buggers can't get the bloody fork in. What's going on? Oh yes, let's have some action. Bloody hell, these buggers are skin on us like flipping leather. Not 
Now nah, that's going to stick to that pan like a bucket. I don't care if it's burnt or not. Hold up. Dodgy camera action, boys. Wait a minute. Yes. That is what's that bloody making a squeaky bloody thing like that. That's uh, squeaky sausage. <laughs> Excuse me, madam, can I interest you in a squeaky sausage? <laughs> anyway, oh they smell lovely already. Right. It's the usual absolutely awful camera and it's probably out of focus. It doesn't really matter, does it? You get the gist. Oh yes. Oops. <laughs> I don't want this lot going over. I don't think I've actually... Have I ever done sausages on the bloody... Tri uh, Trangia Triangle? I don't even know if I ever have or not. Obviously it's the Trangia 27 pan that I've had forever. Cheers, my dears. So let's just just picture this in your mind. Ground coffee in the woods. Sunny day. It's quite cool, but nice. I've also got the smell of sizzling sausage. <laughs> I've waited a few months. For this moment. Oh, you've got to do it, please. Anybody that's watching, just go out. Buy send some bacon, sausage, whatever. Take this stage, get your coffee, and go and enjoy the outdoors. That is absolutely divine. And by the sounds of it, my sausage is starting to get a little bit frazzled. Let me just adjust. It's never a good idea to do this one-handed, is it, really? Yeah. There's never, I used to bring um, margin stuff put, put in the pan, but... There's that much fat in these buggers, you don't need it, do you really? Look, they cook, they're cooking nice in their own fat. Move them over a bit. That's it. You can't beat Trangia. I've, I've said it a million times. If you actually want to play a bat, you can't beat a biolite. If you want to... Oh, it was steaming off a bit. If you want to actually cook food and control how, much, how you cook it, get yourself a Trangia, or some sort of Trangia. Anyway, look at them. Look at that. <laughs> oh, Gus is having a snooze. Are you alright, mate? Oh, bless him. You'll get a little bit. You always do, don't you? You always do. Look at him. He is handsome. And you, you toad. <laughs> Go on down there. You're getting mud on me, bloody kit, look. Yeah, so I know this right in the lock is really, I'm getting, I'm really enjoying it. Excuse me. Bit of a cup. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's, um, I don't know, I just really enjoy it. I'm, I've always got a lot of, as you can tell with me waffle, I've always got a lot going off in the head. <laughs> but I've always had a lot of stories. This, this thing I'm writing now, I could write, I know I could write a few books not just one i've got a there's like i've got a story in my head already i know how it's got how this book's going to end um and it's it's set in two or three different places and, and I, I bounce from one story to the other and it's all going to sort of come together near the end with a sort of cliffhanger type of thing i know roughly what i'm going to do 
it does change though it's like organic it, it it sort of winds and you, you go down one sort of path and then you think of an idea and it goes in a completely different direction just like my personality really anyway i'll uh when i've had my snap i'll i'll get the keyboard thing going and just show you i use actually um google docs i've got scrivener on the ipad and my laptop i bought them the program i love scrivener it's fantastic anybody that's used it will know um but because that's on and that's that tablet it's an actual e-ink tablet that is that mars light book light book mars whatever it is called um so only thing with android you can get lots of stuff but you can't get scrivener at this time so i'm just using google docs to sync it all and that it means i can write anywhere on any device which is brilliant anyway sausages are burning i better sort it out probably going to drown the bloody soundtrack out it's fizzling i've just turned it down a little bit on the simmering um yeah whether we're right i'm waffling a bit here aren't i i've been really in, i'm in one of my favorite writing channels i've been watching on youtube it's uh, writerly whittling michael jack find him really entertaining as a person he speaks and it interests me what he's got to say some people i just find him he's like, like an educated uh way with him anyway and there's another one i like alexa dunn as well i mean this is off piece i suppose boys and girls but uh, i know there's a lot of you out there that like creativity you've got um quiet cyclist jules bless her she's been poorly just lately i saw in one of the videos she's been in hospital and then um, she does a lot of painting and things therapeutic stuff and it's it's, it's an outlet I, I, i'm a big believer in it that sometimes things get really get on top of you and it's it's good to have a distraction something to just take you out out of your out of your situation just for a few hours a, a bit of release it's great i love it drawing writing photography whatever you're into even if you're walking and camping to release in it, it's brilliant that's fantastic that is just right mm -mm. oh yes <laughs> i could eat a chair leg i'm not hungry Oh, they're gorgeous. Not ready yet. Look, he's saying, come on, Daddy, give me that sausage. I want some of that dinner. <laughs> Pair of buggers. Yeah, I've just uh, realised that my focus kept going funny then. I've just realised I've uh, it's got different modes. I've got it on eye something. It's trying to find somebody's eye now. The old bloody clever, these cameras. I had it on 49 area multi this, that, and I pressed the wrong button. And every time I pressed the button, it went out. For anyway, sorted. So here we are boys, just look at this place, it's just flipping mint, look at it. Bloody fantastic. I'm right happy today at the minute. After all the crap and all of a sudden I feel it washing away from me because I'm here and I'm just ah, away from it, away from the house, everything. Away from hospitals, it's bloody great, absolutely. And I'm letting them sausages cook like buggery because uh, 
Well, my lad bought him yesterday. He bought. He went out with his mate. They've got. He's got. He, my lad bought himself this old singing um, push bike, electric thing. But it's like an off-road, great big tires. Looks bloody bonkers. Anyway, him and his mate went out bike riding somewhere, and they decided to buy a load of barbecue stuff in the woods wherever they was. Not far from here actually. And uh, so he took them with him. He were out all day. Came back and he didn't. He didn't eat these sausages. So we bunged them in the fridge. They were in a fresh pack, mind you. But I thought to myself, hmm, they've been out for a few hours, so I better make sure they cook well. <laughs> I don't want to be keeling of it. So anyway, I'm eating my lad snap. <laughs> Makes a change, he's normally eating my bugger. Almost forgotten all. My lad got me this for Christmas as a little prezi. I said I wanted a knife. I think I showed it. I might have showed it on my videos. Let Alex raise the sharp. Hold on. It's a little light, paraframe type rip-off. I think I've showed it before, but I've just realised I've got it. <laughs> I started trying to cut my bloody cob with a, a fork, handle, and I've got this in my bag. Bloody hell fire. Anyway, first time in the woods used in anger. How about that one? Peace. The dogs are watching, got radar on here. They're going to get that bit there, that. That'll be a starter, boys. And of course, a gallon of brown. Oh, look at that. Let's have it on. <laughs> That's all going to go down my shirt now, isn't it? It's bound to. <laughs> you get the picture boys heaven absolute heaven we've now got another brew on all from the same one fill of the Tranger super fantastic cooker nicely <laughs> it doesn't touch the bloody sides That's it, you're not having too much, you'll be 900 stone, look. Oh, Gus is dead gentle when he takes food, stands a bit snatchier, but not bad. I've just had me one cob, got sauce all over me, down my bloody trousers. <laughs> I've got one beauty just there waiting for me in my pita bread next, I think. Well, I want to be able to cook that pita, I already have done. <laughs> That's looking a bit like no. Bloody aren't they like the bloody thing they will? That's looking a bit lonely on there. They've had their little half a sausage each and uh, a couple of doggy biscuits. That's enough. And I'm just going to have this fine sample and then I'm going to make another brew. You know, sometimes, boys and girls, I do wonder why I buy so many different stoves and things. Over the years, I've bought quite a few. Quite a few more than I need less than what other people sometimes buy <clears throat> but that there one tub of Tranja, uh what's it meths I, I loaded it fully i've been here about an hour it's, it's never stopped it's still burning i put on simmer now i've just made me send another brew it's still burning just dead shallow it's cooked me meal it's light you can chuck it bounce it off the wall it'll still work and you do actually wonder why. Why do I buy all these stoves when this actually here, this little setup, it wasn't cheap really when you think about it because that, that MSR is a bit of a rip off. But anyway, for 100 quid perhaps, you've got a, a setup there that will last you your life as long as you, you treat it kindly. <laughs> Not that I do, but anyway, it, you know, you sometimes you've got to ask yourself, why do you. What is this quest for the ultimate stove when I've actually already got them, in my opinion? So there we have it, the old Lightbook Mars. It's a bloody nice bit of kit. So what I've done, I've got a Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone. It comes with me, um, I'm on three, got millions of data, <clears throat> millions of megabytes. So I've just paired it to that, so I can now go on my Google Docs 
Hopefully I can go on my Google Docs. I've got grease on my fingers. I've got it on battery save as well, because this is quite... If you're just reading books, it's great, but if you um, if you start doing a lot of typing, it does, it does eat battery a bit. So I'm opening to my chapter 7 I'm on. I don't know how well this will pick it up. I'm hoping it will pick it up all right. I'm just going to get to the bottom. I need to turn my Bluetooth on as well, actually. Just thought about this. Uh, I'm going to edit, and that's going to now take me to the wrong place again, like an idiot. Oh, no. Anyway, so you can see, you're just using the um, the screen's okay, and you can use this little cart type cart. <whistles> you can use the little um, keyboard. But oh, I'll uh, I'll get there eventually. So I need to go to me um, settings, turn my Bluetooth on. Turn my Bluetooth on. I've got grease on my fingers, it's not happy. I've turned it off again now, not bloody hell. <laughs> I'm good at this, aren't I? Yeah, it's on. Turn my keyboard on. <clears throat> and the thing is, I'm not sure... Oh, it's not a very good demonstration, is it? This? It's not the best of places to be doing it, to be fair. Right, so I need to go to my Bluetooth now because I think I paired this to my iPad, this keyboard, last time I used it. Um, let's go to Bluetooth. It's connecting. It normally automatically connects. It's when it's um, when you've paired it to something else. It's a bit a bit tricky. It goes a bit tricky. Right, it's now connected. <clears throat> Not too painless, but um, so okay. Right, so that's what I edited yesterday on my iPad, and now I'm in. That's it. So I can use the keyboard. I'm gonna control. I can't get it from there. Anyway, you get the picture. I'm now paired. You can see it's slightly um, slow in some respects, but to be quite honest with you, once you get editing. Now get right in, double click on control, that gets rid of the on-screen keyboard, or it should. Sorry, it's a win command, isn't it? It's that one. It's one of these, I can't remember which one it is now. There we go. Alt even. You double click on Alt, and now I'm actually into full screen. <coughs> um, oh, for God's sake. Excuse me, lads, it's because I'm banging it, I'm in a funny position. You get the picture. So I can just start writing here. Oh, obviously, something ridiculous, but the cat on the mat, and as you can see, it just types brilliant. So I've got that is it's fantastic. I love it. I really do love it. It's great. You know, it's so compact. It's just a tiny screen. If I want to read, I've got my ebook with me. That's it, I've got a little crap on here. Turn that off, fastener away, bosh. So you've got, look at that, it's, it's tiny, especially if you take it out of this case thing. So that is a whole word, word processor in my hand. Well, this looks like it's going to turn into a bit of a longer video than normal, but trying to catch up for lost time, I suppose. And Pears again a bit restless, I think. I'm going to have my last blue. Blue? I'm going to have my last brew. I might do a little bit more typing. And uh, a jolly good day was had by all. Can hear some bobos in the distance. Oh, it's one last brew, boys, I feel. It'd be rude not to. Oh, 
Been off last me fuel in the old transit. I've had three flipping airy coffees now, I'll be bouncing off the bloody walls. Uh, yeah, uh, bloody lovely, lovely morning. It's about half past ten now, something like that. I'm just gonna chill Zill for another half an hour or so and then get going. So Stan's getting restless, Gus is um, nodding off in the sun, bless him. And uh, I'll go and clean my gear up. And uh, a bit of tidying up at home needs doing, I think. And then I'm off at the hospital again seeing my dad. So, uh, no doubt I'll be having a bottle of wine tonight to de-stress and hopefully I'll, um, I might get out at least once and do another video this weekend, I hope, I might not, it depends what happens really um, but this has been brilliant, I've loved every second of it, every second is brilliant Are we ready? What do you want? Are we going? Do we go walk? Come on, come on then Gus, we're going Come on and as usual, he's bloody sniffing treat. Stan, treat, here. <laughs> Come on. It's so bloody beautiful here. There's that many nice spots to look at. <laughs> Old Stan's dong dangling out. He's a bit warm. That was lovely. I feel overdressed now, mind you. I'm going to take some of these layers off. It's getting really warm now. I'd say it's about, I don't know, it must be about 16 degrees, something like that, 15, 16. If not more, actually, in this direct sun. It's bloody lovely now. It's getting warm now, boys and girls. Oh, Gussie slowed right down, bless him. We're just going to take a steady walk home now. We're only about half an hour from home. What more could you wish for? Yeah, it's really warm now. Them piers panting like buggers. Gus has slowed down quite a bit. Mind you, I've just told him it's a, a treat when we get home, so he has speeded up a little bit, bless him. It feels about 25 degrees now. <laughs> I'll be uh, glad to get this gear off and uh, get my shorts on, I think. And uh, get on with whatever day, the day brings. Phew. Anyway, what an absolutely brilliant day, boys and girls. I've absolutely loved it. Loved every second of it. Shame it's over, but I've got um, three more days after this. I'm hoping I get out again. I might not film, but I'll be out for definite. Anyway, I'll see you all on the next one. Bye.